We're back with more breaking news. The massive and deadly Hamas raid on Israel. For more on what's going on, I'm joined now by Ephraim Halevi, a former head of Israel's intelligence service. Thanks so much for joining us. You were chief of Mossad, Israel's intelligence service. You've seen Israel under attack many times before. Have you ever seen an attack quite like this one? No, I think this is a unique attack. Uh, we have had uh, intelligence failures before, and we've been surprised. But this is the first time that the uh, people from Gaza have been able to pen penetrate into Israel, deep into Israel, and to uh, take control of uh, villages in the south, uh, not only bordering on the uh, Gaza Strip, but to some extent also deeper in Israel uh, and into uh, cities uh, quite nor north, uh, north, uh, north of those in uh, places uh, along the seashore. As you know, Hamas launched this major, fairly sophisticated attack on this, the 50th anniversary of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Do you believe uh, Israel's military and intelligence services missed some significant red flags in not understanding what was going on? <clears throat> yes, uh, indeed. But uh, the story of 1973 was different because there we had a lead up to the war and uh, we had a, a wrong assessment of what it is that the other side was going to do, if at all. In this case, we had no early warning of any kind and it was a total surprise that the war broke out uh, this morning. What is the state of Israel's intelligence operations and its ability to monitor Hamas activities in Gaza right now, Mr. Halevi? Well, they do have capabilities, obviously, uh, but in this particular case, uh, these uh, capabilities failed them. I believe, though, that uh, probably uh, in the last few hours, uh, certain efforts have been made to uh, uh, improve uh, the uh, capability of covering what is happening there and also preparing for the counterattack which will probably begin or has begun in the last few hours. Give us your analysis, uh, if you will, of the level of coordination and sophistication of this Hamas attack from Gaza into Israel with rockets, a ground invasion, uh, invasion using paragliders, speedboats to attack by sea, killing and kidnapping a lot of Israeli civilians and taking them into Gaza. Give us your sense. Well, <clears throat> As an operation, it was highly successful, unfortunately. I think it was well coordinated. I think they were able to keep it secret. And we had no idea that this is be, was being uh, uh, planned. And even uh, in some cases, probably uh, they were able to uh, uh, try and have trial uh, uh, training. And we didn't uh, have any uh, inkling of what was going on, despite the fact that the coverage of uh, the Gaza Strip uh, by the intelligence uh, capabilities we have was very, very, uh, uh, very high and very, uh, uh, I'd say, uh, um, very successful in years gone by. I think one of the major intelligence failures of the Israelis, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Halevi, uh, is that uh, Hamas managed to get into Gaza, thousands of rockets and missiles, which they're now launching against various targets in Israel. Israel surrounds the Gaza Strip. How did they manage to do this? <clears throat> well, uh, they uh, fired these missiles in quantities we have never seen before. Uh, the number of uh, missiles they have uh, launched uh, within, within less than 24 hours is uh, over 3,000. This is uh, beyond imagination from our point of view. And we didn't know and they, they had this quantity of uh, uh, missiles. And we certainly didn't expect that they would be uh, as effective as they were today. But how did they get them into Gaza, all these missiles? I think many of them were manufactured by themselves. Uh, they have uh, uh, manufacturing capabilities in the Gaza Strip. Uh, maybe they got a few of them from uh, Iran uh, and that was smuggled in through the sea. But basically speaking, it's uh, 
the produ self-production that they have within the Gaza Strip. 